feel it now. It's all around me. A silent voice I can't deny. A mother's Day 11 Experience each virtue Experience each virtue Whatever you hear Continue to merge that within you The more you merge What you hear within yourself The more you will continue to become the practical form of that There should be experience of each virtue Experience of each virtue. Constantly check yourself to see to what extent you experience each virtue. Are you just filled with knowledge or you are an image of experience? Check this because it's only at the confluence age that you can experience each virtue. If you don't experience any particular virtue, then Pay special attention and definitely become experienced in that. The more you become an image of experience, the stronger your foundation will become. Maya will not be able to shake you. Any type of obstacle or problem should now be experienced to be like a game. It's not an attack, but a game. By considering it to be a game, you'll be able to overcome it in happiness. Whereas by considering it to be an attack, war, you will become afraid and come into turmoil. So this is the continuation of yesterday's Murli. Baba is talking with New York group. This is the Avyakta Murli of 4th January 1982. So Baba is saying, whatever you hear, just... Emerge that within yourself. So we have four subjects in this university. And imbibing virtues is the third subject. Which is the third subject? Imbibing virtues. What does the word imbibe mean? Imbibe virtue means Imbibe means to drink. So it's like drinking each and every virtue. Absorb. Be like a sponge so that you can absorb each virtue. So today Baba is saying you have heard enough. You have knowledge about virtues. Now merge them within yourself. Samana.
now imbibe them, now experience them, each one of them. How to do? In yesterday's Sakar Murli, there was a beautiful blessing. What was that? Who is the customer of virtue? The one who can imbibe virtue even from those who have got defects. Just as those who have got defects are determined in their defects, so also you remain determined in your virtues. Gun Grahi. Become the customer of virtues. So what to do with these virtues? We have a huge list of virtues. Which are the, some of the important virtues? Purity, tolerance, compassion, gratitude, obedience, so many are there. Kindness, commitment, tirelessness, sweetness, accuracy, benevolence, courage, determination, enthusiasm, friendliness, lightness, humble, humility, so there are so many, simplicity, beauty, royalty. So, Baba is saying, experience each virtue now. The task is to experience the virtue. How? How to do this? Experience it in the practical form. So you have to do experiment, okay? What else? I take any virtue, for example, purity. Purity is a virtue, it's a quality, it's a power. Everything. How do I experience it? Honesty, how do I experience honesty? Hmm? Become the, but how to become, whether you call it experiencing it or becoming an embodiment? How? What should be done at the practical level? What should be done in day-to-day -day life? Hmm? Mm -hmm. We can play a game to imbibe virtues. Which game? Scan and spot. Scan and spot. This is the game. This can be applied in two things. First, situations and second persons. Scan every situation immediately and find out what is the good in this. So throughout the day, whatever situations that come in front of you, scan and spot, scan and spot, scan and spot. What is this situation? Okay, this is the situation. There is a situation and suddenly I feel fear, fearful within. I am scared. A sudden thought of anxiety, of fear, of panic and I lose my balance. Now this is the situation which had come. Scan the situation and spot and immediately come to some conclusion. Yes, there is a fear hidden in me about this particular thing. So you have come to the conclusion that I have fear. Now the task is to become fearless. How do you become fearless? How do you overcome your fears? Now, mind should start thinking in this line. For example, simple example. People fear local trains in Mumbai. Considering the rush, the crowd, those who enter Mumbai for the first time, there is a hidden fear about local trains. So how to overcome that? Simply, there is an English saying, you do it by doing. Start doing that thing which you fear. You do it by doing. There is a fear of riding bicycle. Start doing that. There is a fear about speaking in public. Start speaking. The fear will go away. Stage fright. You know, the greatest of the speakers Earlier, they all had stage fright. The moment they would see so many eyes staring upon them, 
their hearts will sink in their boots so they got discouraged or depressed so there is a fear so work on that fear there is a phobia for example there are so many people who can't sleep alone in dark they want somebody to come in their house and sleep then they feel safe and secured learn to be alone fear of darkness fear of death fear of water fear of cold fear of close spaces fear of covid-19 that is the latest fear it was now it is gone i think <laughs> fear of vaccination people will keep on calling should i take should i take there is a hidden fear somewhere learn to know your own fears study your own fears they are hidden lurking somewhere deep within fear of somebody getting snatched away from me i love somebody and i fear that that person might go away from me so i become more possessive so i was just thinking we were talking about situations so whenever difficult situations come tough situations come what you have to do scan and spot scan and spot what is the virtue what is the benefit in this situation the benefit was the situation helped me in understanding myself this situation brought to light the fear which was hidden in me now i can work on that i can work on my hidden fears and every person has got some or other hidden fears very deep within the subconscious mind we feel i am fearless but there is some hidden fear there was a guru and his disciple and they were passing through a jungle the guru had a bag of cloth and there was something very heavy thing which was kept within and the guru was checking and rechecking that bag again and again again and again the sh- disciple was taken aback to see this what is this happening to my master why is checking his bag again and again and he is holding it so tightly like this and that master is again and again asking we are through the jungle when will the village come so master is so fearful today and the disciple is not understanding what is happening to the master so they reach one place and the master goes to drink water and says keep a watch on this bag so when the master is away the disciple opens the bag and see there is a brick of gold then he understands so this is the cause of his anxiety and fear so what he does he takes that brick and throws it away and puts a stone of the same size and weight in that bag so the master comes and again carries the bag and he first makes it sure that the thing is there so he is again and again holding it and seeing that bag again they reach a place and the master is again worried when will the village come the disciple says now don't worry the cause of your worry i already th- thrown out <laughs> he said what he immediately opens the bag and sees oh there is a stone there then the master understands see that one thing had become the cause of fear anxiety and the moment it is thrown now there is no more fear now the master says we will rest here only now no fear of any thief or anything why to go to the village so probably each one of us is carrying some brick of gold and we fear that it might get stolen or snatched away throw it away you will have peaceful sleep so every situation no matter how adverse how difficult how tough carries in it some virtue some benefit some advantage milk it 
in english there is a word milk take advantage of the situation just as the milk the cow milk the situation scan and spot scan and spot any situation what is the advantage there is a hidden advantage on the surface it appears it is very very disadvantageous it gives no mileage but every situation brings with it some benefit some goodness some hidden virtue second from persons spot and scan so whenever you come across any person what you have to do scan him and spot what is the virtue in him on the surface he appears arrogant on the surface he appears to insult everyone on the surface that person is not so good but there must be some hidden virtue as baba said yesterday in blessing just as they are determined in their defects you remain determined in your virtues scan and spot this is a very good game throughout the day scan and spot scan the situation and spot the virtue and and goodness scan the person and spot the virtue gun so this is how you become gun murt this is how you become embodiment of virtues experience virtues so this is one of the game another is sprinkle the magic dust sprinkle the magic dust of virtues everywhere this is known as magic dust every virtue carry with it and sprinkle it everywhere wherever you go because people follow us we are on the stage all the time what virtue can be applied to which situation keep on thinking one of the best methods of imbibing virtue is to sit alone in silence for example i take one virtue discipline discipline is a virtue i sit in silence bring that virtue in mind discipline now think about it what are the advantages if i become more disciplined in my life my life is like this at present everywhere i am scattered everything is going topsy turvy how can i make it aligned my thoughts are running in one direction words in another and actions in another what i speak i don't do and what i do i don't speak so there is a misalignment of thought words and deeds if you can align these three things there is a misalignment man mat shri mat parmat let me sit down and find out what to do how can i become more disciplined in life think about it then find out somebody who is already more disciplined than you and study him how he can do it there is always a person around you who has some or other more virtue who is more virtuous than you but probably we are focusing only on his defects that's why we can't see his virtues so study other person study your own life situations think about it read about virtues <coughs> suppose i have to imbibe discipline in my life what i should do yes i have to become more disciplined what should i do yeah tell one thing which can make my life more disciplined hmm for no what is discipline okay i have read about discipline i have known what is discipline but what i should do now which area i should discipline myself hmm where i am lacking like for example sleeping time <laughs> okay then what else discipline is needed hmm in which areas of life i should be disciplined yeah hmm 
others who are more disciplined i learn from them but i am asking areas which areas ha huh? dining <laughs> you know mindful eating how to do that mindful eating what is it no it is not to do with less eating or more eating or whatever what is mindful eating no mindful eating is what it's a very beautiful term mindful eating yeah mindful eating there are so many steps in this so this everybody can practice today mindful eating first eating slowly eat very slowly and for that you need to reduce the size of your plate <laughs> otherwise you eat more so that is the first effort so when you go back to your centers and your homes if this is the size of your plate reduce it make it a smaller plate this is a better method otherwise you will always over eat when the size is big so <laughs> keep it a very small size this much so that is the first thing uh, eat slowly then be aware of what you are eating i am eating this i am eating this i am eating it this then know about the nutritive value of this okay i am eating this uh, this is greens and also see the colors focus on the colors this is red tomato and these are the greens and cucumber whatever so focus on the different colors and enjoy it oh so beautiful colors so focus on colors size texture and then taste slowly slowly taste everything also focus on the sounds when you make while eating because everything has a got different sound every every uh, item in your plate your platter has got a different sound when you chew so get immersed and enjoy eating it if you are drinking a juice okay what juice this is grapes what color so nice color and text test is so beautiful and see the glass so nice glass and learn from that how it has taken the shape of the glass and then drink it sip very slowly and while drinking just enjoy it it's so beautiful it's so tasty so delicious i just relish every sip of it so enjoy your food eat in silence and while eating just focus only on eating don't look here and there at all just enjoy and smile within <laughs> slowly slowly enjoying size texture sound another thing is engage all senses into it engage all your senses eyes should see it ears should hear the voice you make while drinking or eating taste tongue should taste it mind should be aware of what i am eating and what is the nutritive value of this and how this will help me in purifying my mind the food which i am eating is purifying my inner being every morsel of the food which i put within is becoming an energy it's a high vibrational food it's a pure food it's a satvic food and whatever i eat is purifying my mind my body my intellect my every sense eat with this awareness who has given me this this is a food which is already i am offering it to the divine so this food has already divineized it's a in this it's in the divineized form so eat with my awareness engage all the senses eat with a sense of gratitude thank you i thank baba for this food there are so many people in this world who aren't getting food at all there are so many hungry beings on this earth 
and I am thankful to the Almighty for having given me this wonderful, delicious dish. A sense of thankfulness. Another thing, no complaints. This is less, that is less. No, I have got enough. Eat with this feeling of fullness, with satisfaction, with satiety, with satisfaction, with a deep sense of contentment. And another thing, sit alone. Don't sit with, okay, even if you sit with groups, be silent then. But if possible, better to sit alone. May not be possible all the time, but you can be alone in your mind all the time. Eating should be a prayer. Eating should be like music. Eating should be like a tapasya. Eating should be like a sadhana. You are just enjoying it. You sit just as somebody does puja with so much, mm. you know, in the path of devotion. They pay so much attention to every small act of puja. Here also, as if this is a ceremonial, as if this is a virtue, ritual. And eat with happiness. Eat with happiness. Don't eat in anger. They say that if you eat something in anger, the food becomes non-vegetarian. The food becomes non-vegetarian. So eat with love. Eat giving drishti. Eat with gratitude. Offer bhog. Eat slowly. Chew slowly. Enjoy it. Relish it. Hear the sounds. See the different colors. Feel the nutritive values. Nutritive value depends on emotions. Such a dynamic and strong statement. There are two persons eating food. One suffers from nutritional deficiencies, other doesn't. Why? Food is same. They should not have. One is not having any nutritional deficiency, another is having. Where the emotions are broken, where there are emotional fractures, anger, resentment, jealousy, irritability, and you eat with that irritable mind. The food doesn't give you those nutrients. This statement still needs research. <laughs> I am saying it, but it needs research. <laughs> so it should not be taken otherwise. So mindful eating, this itself is a discipline. Eat in silence. Do not speak. Do not talk. Don't discuss about food while eating. Eating itself is a yoga. Eating is a yoga. Patanjali's Yoga Sutra starts with this. Now the discipline of yoga. Now discipline of yoga. Patanjali has written, you know, Yoga Sutra of Patanjali. How he starts? Usually this is not the starting of any book. But this is how he is starting. Now. You have done enough everything. Now do this. Athato Brahma Jitnyasa. This is how Bhakti Sutra starts. Atato Jnana Jidnyasa. Now this will start. Usually this is, should not be the starting. But this is the starting. Now the discipline of yoga. Because you have done everything, not achieved anything. Now start this. So, experiencing virtue, which is the game? Scan and spot. Scan and spot. Scan and spot. Every situation, every person. And take any virtue and become the master of that virtue. And today, reduce the size of the plate. Otherwise, one overeats. Om Shanti.